Hi, Bill here. Well, I got me a little snowblower here. It was uh, 80 bucks. Bought it uh, from some guy who thought the motor was gone because it wouldn't start and didn't have any power. It's one of those uh, it's one of those L head Tecumseys, and it's got the valves where the uh, exhaust valve kind of runs, it gets heated up and elongated, and you just got to go in there and. Uh, and grind off the bottom of the valve and get the, the valves to seat again. I did all that, lapped the valves and everything. And she runs like a champ now. Had it for, I don't know, probably getting on close to 10 years. But I gotta admit, I was always a little jealous when I'd go to Home Depot and I'd see guys have the big old fancy lights and all that on their, uh, on their uh, snow blowers. And this one doesn't have that capability. It's got a plug in electric start, but no battery. So, I found these little things on Amazon, and I tell you what, these are cool. It is a, uh, a plug for what you take your flavor of, of uh, lithium battery that you like, and they come in all sorts, Ryobi, Milwaukee, I like these DeWalt ones. And you plug her in there, and you just pop it in, and I went to Harbor Fret, and I bought myself actually a pretty darn nice feeling LED light. It's all floodlights in there. An aluminum case and I flipped that puppy on and who I got light and uh, the whole rigmarole didn't cost me much of nothing and uh, the one thing you got to keep in mind I'll warn you when you buy these tools most of your handheld pow portable power tools they got the smarts in the uh, tool to keep from killing the battery and you got to be careful make sure that you don't run your battery dead when you use these little adapters you see a you'll see a bunch of reviews about how they kill batteries, and that's because people put a battery on there and run it till it's dead. Just make sure you put a battery in that's overkill. Um, you know, this is a little, you know, this this light doesn't draw that much power. I know I could put that two and a half amp hour on there and run this thing for hours, and I won't kill it. So, just a warning for you. But yeah, real slick. I've used them on a couple of things now, and uh, they're just they're an awful handy. If you got yourself a 3D printer, you could probably make yourself some too. So. Just an idea for you. See you later.